In the annals of natural history, few events have imprinted themselves upon the collective memory of humanity as indelibly as the catastrophic eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815. This was not a tragedy confined to the realm of fiery mountaintops and ash-covered villages, but a profound disturbance that would ripple through the climatic systems of the world, bringing with it a year of darkness. A year without a summer. As the earth shook and the skies darkened, the magnitude of this volcanic fury was felt not just in the immediate devastation on the Indonesian island of Sumbawa, but also in the far-flung corners of the globe where the sun was obscured and the crops failed. The year 1816 entered history books with a notorious epithet, witnessing a climate anomaly that disrupted the rhythm of the seasons and brought humanity face to face with the fragility of its existence. This was a period marked by agricultural catastrophe, widespread famine, and the stirrings of scientific curiosity. An epoch where the capriciousness of nature's might was met with human despair and resilience in equal measure. From the ashen aftermath of one of the most potent volcanic eruptions recorded, a narrative unfolds. A narrative of a world plunged into a volcanic winter, of societies grappling with the precarity of food security, and of the remarkable human responses to environmental crises. This is a story of how a mountain's wrath reshaped the world, of the lives it touched, and the legacies it forged in its icy embrace. It is a tale woven through with the threads of tragedy and triumph, darkness and enlightenment, and above all, the enduring human spirit's capacity to adapt and to overcome. In this video, we'll continue on from yesterday's episode on the 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora, link in the description, and we'll look at the volcanic winter that resulted from it, which produced the 1816 year without a summer. In 1815, the world experienced a natural catastrophe of unprecedented scale when Mount Tambora in the Dutch East Indies erupted with an apocalyptic force. It was a cataclysm that would etch itself into the annals of history, not just for the immediate horror it unleashed, but for the prolonged darkness that followed. The eruption, which occurred on April 10, 1815, was the most powerful in recorded history. The mountain spewed forth an estimated 100 cubic kilometers of debris, ash, and sulfuric acid droplets into the atmosphere. The immediate vicinity was devastated. Pyroclastic flows engulfed the surrounding landscape, and ash blanketed the land, destroying agricultural prospects. Around 10,000 local inhabitants were killed in the immediate aftermath of the eruption, and the island of Sumbawa bore the full brunt of the tragedy, with its communities decimated and its fields rendered barren. But the horror of the eruption was not confined to Sumbawa or even the Dutch East Indies. The true extent of Tambora's wrath would manifest in the following year, 1816 known as the year without a summer. The ash and sulfuric acid that had been injected into the stratosphere encircled the globe, forming an aerosol veil that dimmed the sun's warmth and altered weather patterns. In North America and Europe, the summer of 1816 was marked by cold temperatures and incessant rains, resulting in failed harvests and a subsistence crisis. Snow fell in June, and frost persisted through the summer months, an aberration that left crops withered and the ground barren. In New England, farmers faced the sight of milk freezing in their pails. The Canadian Maritimes experienced heavy frost and ice in the midst of what should have been warm seasons, leading to widespread crop failures. Across the Atlantic, the people of Europe suffered similar fates. Crop failures in Ireland, Wales and England led to what has been called the last great famine of the Western world. Grain prices soared as scarcity gripped the continent. Families found themselves tearing apart their own homes to scavenge for wood to keep warm through the unseasonably cold summer months. The poor, unable to afford the exorbitant prices of grain, resorted to eating nettles and roots to survive. The total number of lives lost as a consequence of the eruption and its aftermath is difficult to ascertain with precision, but it is clear that the indirect effects of the volcanic winter caused by Mount Tambora claimed tens of thousands of lives, if not more. The famine and disease that followed in its wake, the inevitable attendance to hunger and malnutrition swept across the globe in a grim reaper's dance of death. Yet from this period of darkness there arose beacons of creativity and scientific inquiry. The dreary summer of 1816 confined a group of British writers in a villa by Lake Geneva, where Mary Shelley conceived her novel Frankenstein, a work that reflected the bleak and turbulent mood of the times. Likewise, the climatic anomalies piqued the interest of the scientific community and contributed to the nascent field of climate science. 
The volcanic winter of Mount Tambora serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance of our climate system and the profound effects that natural events can have on human civilization. It underscores the vulnerability of our societies to the whims of the Earth's geophysical processes and stands as a testament to the resilience and adaptability of humanity in the face of seemingly insurmountable challenges. Thanks for watching.